Right, Wilco, welcome to the Golf Manager channel. Thank lovely, you. Lovely to meet you. Today we're going to talk about what's in your golf bag. Yeah. Uh, known for your speed. I know there's a lot of different clubs in here though. Okay. Uh, shall we dive straight into your driver first? Okay. If that's okay. So yeah, what sure. driver are you currently using? So I'm using uh, Ping G430. Um, I, I think it comes in three options. That's correct, yes. Low spinning technology, SF Tech, I'm not, I think straight flight maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then the Max, yeah. I think. And then there's a new one, the 10K. Yes, maybe. yeah, that's okay. the one that's in my bag I'm right getting now, all actually. of it now. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Um, so I've, I've obviously got um, quite a bit of speed, so spin yep. is not a problem. So I use the low spinning, uh, low sure. spinning head. Pretty standard. I've got a nine, nine okay. degree. Um, it is a little lower. Um, right. So probably 8, 8.7. Not sure what the true loft is. Okay. Um, and then I've got a 10 say, 10 say shaft. Um, oh, like I said earlier, I'm stout. not, I'm not, not too clued up. No, with what it does. I, that, that's but, quite stout, um, stout shaft, though, isn't it? Yeah. But um, they do their job in the truck, and I just try hit it and sure. do my job. So you, you want to tinker quite a lot with, with your driver? No, I don't no. like. I don't like tinkering. No. Uh, I like, obviously, as the swing improves or certain moves improve, and you want to move into a certain different way. It might sure. change, but I don't want it to be a, a quick fix. Okay, um, that makes kind sense. Of thing. I don't want to hit a draw and then. And then, the, yeah. okay, so, I, I understand that. Yeah. I heard um, just off camera you said you, you swing around was eighty five percent. Is it with your driver? Yeah, I, I, it's definitely become a little slower. Okay. Um, on average, um, I'd probably say 85, 90 percent. Okay. Um, what, what, why have you gone slower? Is that more for control? Yeah, just, just control. Yeah. Um, to be honest. When you rip one, it, it is nice. Yeah. Um, but also, you, you kind of it gets it gets the adrenaline up, and sure. it, I'm not sure if it has a it plays a part in the next shot. But okay. I just kind of I'm trying to get myself in a like constant, if that makes sense. Yeah. With irons or driver, like of not course. hard, soft, hard, soft. So also the, um, the driver goes goes straight. So okay. Um, yeah, it's just a, a a really good way of of controlling. Okay. Do you feel like with your your speeds? because you are so fast, it almost sometimes makes it more difficult to be accurate because you're working more in a game of millimeters rather than you're a bit slower. It does, um, to, but the thing is to be accurate is, I would say I'm pretty straight. Yeah. Um, the thing that becomes tricky is obviously because it goes a bit further, the little bit deviation obviously at that distance becomes yeah. a little bigger. Um, the tricky part is, and, and I'm, I'm getting better at it, is is when you don't hit a full shot. Okay. Um, so that's not with a driver, but a wedge shot's trying to flight it. I see. Um, so that's the tricky one, because all of a sudden now you've got to control the, the speed um, yeah. where the driver is just full flat. Just full set, right, um, okay. So, so that's, that's the tricky part for me. Some, some would find it the other way. Yeah. Um, but it's, um, it's all about, obviously, if you putt well, then you probably struggle with this. If you, yeah. if you struggle with that, <laughs> you'll struggle with this or whatever. It's always a, a game that gives and takes, I guess. Um, 100%, well, yeah. well said. If, uh, if we talk about your hybrid and forward now, as yep. I can see those two there. Yep. Um, where, where do you use these? Are these off the tee clubs? Are they a bit more versatile? Most, mostly off the tee. Um, the hybrid is kind of a, a three iron replacement. Okay. Um, found, obviously, playing in the cold. Um, if, if, if you need them into par fives, okay. um, yeah. then it's easier to get up in the air, land it soft. If you're in the rough, it's easier to get it because it's got a little bit more loft than the three iron. Sure. Um, so that's that's that. This club, it's a, a three wood head. Okay. Uh, but it's got a five wood shaft in it. So oh, how interesting! I'm, Why is that? Control. I'm I'm trying for a certain distance. Sure. So five wood goes a little too short yeah. compared to the gap to the driver. Okay. But the dry, the three wood goes too far because right. there's a, a bigger gap then. So. Um, yeah, I've got, this is, it feels like a sample. It's like, it's a little yeah. short, and, but it's quite nice. Um, so this goes about 275 and okay. I can get it to 290, sometimes 300 if I want, but um, feels feels quite controllable with the, with the shortest shot. So, okay, oh, yeah. good to hear. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about your irons now, as I've been looking yeah. at those and they are, they're tiny. <laughs> that full iron there is, a, is terrifying, I think, to any amateur golfer. Have you had those in the bag for a while? For yeah, I've, I, I, since it came out, I, I was really happy that they sure. they made a blade. Um, I, don't, I don't really struggle hitting the, the ball, um, so it's not really the size to me. It's more about what it looks like. Okay. And, um, I've tried the other ones, and just it just doesn't really work right. as nicely for me as, as this. Um, yeah, it's. 
it's pretty and it's nice to look at and <laughs> yeah. kind of makes me comfortable ever as yeah. well. So, um, okay. Yeah. Have you always been a, a blade player throughout yeah, your career? Yeah. Well, Ping only brought out the blades, I think, 2019. Yes, okay. Um, so before that, I used the eye blades. Right. Um, hoping that they bring out something smaller. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's been uh, it's been really nice. Okay, no, that's that's. that's I just can't stop looking at the forearm. I don't know, I don't know which girlfriend that is. Yeah, uh, you should. I've, I've actually got a two iron in that as well, but um, it's, it's not in use. No, no, I don't I think <laughs> any, anyone use. else behind this camera I tried to hit that. They wouldn't hit the middle of the club face, would they? Um, yeah. Your wedges now. I know we touched them earlier. Yeah. What, what have you got in the bag here? So I've got a S159. Yeah. Um, actually, really nice. They um, only lately became uh, available yep. in raw finish, okay. which I really uh, like. Yep. Um, yeah, it's it's really really nice. The wages are good. Yeah. Um, okay. I've got a fifty. It's probably bent a little little softer, so probably around fifty one and a bit. Right. So same thing. I wanted to go a certain distance, so I'm not too bothered about the loft. Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, they can just take out the number and just put the distance over, <laughs> over the bit. But um, I've got that. Then I've got the fifty four um, in the same thing, but um, or fifty six. Yep. But it's also I think. Pretty close to 55. Sure. A little, little, little different, and then I've got a 60. So okay, lovely. I see that you've got 12 degrees of bounce for the 50 and the 56. Are you someone who just whatever works for you? Whatever works. Uh, okay. the, the lob wedge has a little different grind, um, which I like. It's got uh, yeah. quite a bit of, um, it's, it's a standard one, but yeah. it's, they did custom grind it, so it's got a little bit of an extra um, bounce there, but heel relief, so when okay. I put it down and, and open it, it's, it's, right. it's flush, but okay. it's got on the square phase, has a bit of has a bit of bounce. So it's. I'm, I'm not a fan of carrying two lob wedges everywhere I go, so it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty universal. That pretty makes sense. Nice, yeah. Okay, last but not least, talking to me about the putter. How long have you had this one in the bag? Yeah, uh, this is new. It's a, okay. it's a month now. Uh, I've got a, a PLD. Um, I really like the, the Voss. They, yeah. they brought out a Volt Voss, I think 2016. Maybe. Okay. I uh, really liked it. I always liked the blade, but the Voss is clean and square. Yeah. Um, got a top line on it, so the Voss I've used for a long time, but it has had a different milling pattern. Okay. Um, so it was like um, shallow at the ends and deeper in the middle. Sure. Not sure what the thinking was behind it, but um, really liked it. But um, obviously thought I can improve a little on, on, on some aspects like the pace. So I thought uh, I spoke to the guys and they said, well, maybe just the one one smooth uh, oh, wow. face, not an insert, okay. would, would make, make a difference. So it's, sure. just, it's the shallow milling, um, same face of a little different color, but um, pretty custom, pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty. So You're very nice. pretty. I love yeah. a custom yeah. busset. Well, so, Walker, good luck this week. Thank you very much. You've got a very nice Thanks, bag. Thanks, I'm sure you'll be right at the top come thank Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.